this is problem number one. Now I want you to explain a square. So anytime you see the word square, um, you put, just put, label them all. 15 feet, 15 feet, and 15 feet. You'll see it better. And here they're solving for, um, determine the length of the di diagonal of each given quadrilateral. So find that, find C. So basically I have a triangle. And this is its right angle. And you use a squared plus b squared equals a c squared, the Pythagorean theorem, OK? Um, let's call it Pythagorean theorem. OK. Same thing here. Once you get this, a quadrilateral is a quadrilateral is a rectangle. Quadrilateral is any shape that has four sides. Okay. That's a 10. That's an 18. Find its diagonals right there. So you're just finding c again. Um, this is the triangle you should see. And here's the 9 degree angle. Okay, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You should not have a hard time. Okay, quadrilateral is a parallelogram. All right, so let's try to find the right angle. Right here, its measurement is 6. See that? That's the same right over there. So the height is 6. That's a 90 degrees. They're saying to you it's straight. So that's the 90 degree right there. OK? And then this length right here. You make that right angle. Or some of you may see another one. Um, see that length? So the diagonal, find J to M first. So I'm going to do this square first so you can see it. There's two triangles here. There's two diagonals. That diagonal and the other diagonal, which is right here. N, K. You're going to find that later. OK? Um, J, M is 8, 6, and this is C. I'm going to get rid of that. We're trying to find it. J, M is C. A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. So 6 squared plus 8 squared equals to c squared. 36 plus 64 equals to c squared. So you get 100 equals to c squared. Square root, 10 equals to c. So this one is 10 meters right there. So distance of JM, JM is 10 meters. We'll just leave it like that. Okay, now we need to find the other diagonal, which is NK. NK is right there. Okay. So let me draw it better. Well, it won't work. Let's put it right like that, 90 degree right here, straight down. Okay, and they're saying that this length right here to the end right there. This whole thing, this one right here, is 11 meters. So I'm going to get rid of all this and say this is 11 meters right here. And right here is 6 meters from here to here. That's what it's saying right here. So let's find NK. So NK It's a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. Let's do it in blue so it's different. a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. 11 squared plus 6 squared equals to c squared. 121 plus 6 squared equals to c squared. Oh no, 36. So 121, use your calculator for your first 121 plus. 36 equals to 157. Not a perfect, this is a rational number. This is going to be irrational equals to c squared. Irrational number. This is going to be irrational. Okay, take the square root of that. Um, of 157, you get 12.52. 12.52 equals to c. So c is about 12.5 meters. So this is about 12.5 meters right here. So 
and is about, we say about because we rounded right here, 12.5 um, meters. That's a hard one. Okay, here's quadrilateral. We've got two of them. Oh, be careful here. The numbers, two makes one. Let's do the first easy one. First triangle, this one here. Okay, it's a right angle, so I can work with this here. So two makes one, so got one, two, three, four, five, six. If you can't see what I'm doing, I'm gonna count. Two makes one, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is six. This one is one, two, Three, four, four. Find um, find PR. I do A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. Four squared plus thirty-six. No, put it in there again. Equals to C squared. Sixteen plus thirty-six equals to C squared. Fifty-two. The square root of fifty-two. And the square root of c squared for sure the c squared is c. So the square root of <coughs> 52 equals 7.21. Round it, it's about 7.2. Right there. Okay. That's the so PR is about. 7.2 units. So there's no measurements. Okay. Then I'm going to erase so you can see the other one right here. Q to S. Okay. I can't use any of these because none of them are right angles. So this triangle is not permitted. This one has a 90 degree, so I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to color it in so you can see the triangle that I am using. Oops. Okay. This is A here. Well, it doesn't matter with AB. We know that this is C. So we're trying to find 2 makes 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four squared plus four squared equals to c squared. Sixteen plus sixteen equals to c squared. I forgot a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. Okay, that's thirty-two equals to c squared. Oh, oh, I. This is not a perfect square, but I don't want it a rational number. I, I don't want it as a decimal. We can factor this out. This you can't really. 2 and something, and that's it. And it won't work. This one is 4 and 8. 2 and 2. This is 2 and 4. 2 and 2. So we get 2, 1, 2 pairs of 2, so 2 squared with 1 left over. Okay, with 1 left. So that 1 stays in this radical sign. So your answer is C equals to 4 radical 2. Okay, or that's the distance of QS. QS is 4 radical 2. We're exact. We didn't round. This is exact. So we use it. Okay. Here we go. We first find this one. All right. We need to make a right angle. None of these are right. So we need to create it. In order to create it, remember, just like the previous night's homework, once you get two points, ignore all the other lines except that red line. We can make a right angle by going down 
and then this one. There we go. And then we can find this line. Just like last night's homework, you get two points, you're able to find it. Just ignore all the other lines. What's important though, you need to know the units. Two makes one. So one, two, three, four, five. Five this way. One, two, three, five. Five this way. Alrighty, this is 90 degrees. That's why you can do it. That's the only 90 degrees. A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. Five squared plus five squared equals to C squared. Twenty-five plus twenty-five equals to C squared. Fifty equals to C squared. Take the square root. Ah, this is twenty-five times two. So this is five times five. One pairs of five. And then this is left, radical 2 is equal to C. Let's see. We're practicing this because um, this is the distance of W, Y is 5, radical 2. Or as a decimal, just put in your calculator, square root of 50 is 7 of 7.07, .07, so 7.1, about 7.1, because we're exact, there's no rounding, we just put this in. Okay, that's the first triangle. I'm going to erase, and we're going to do um, y to x, I mean z to x. Okay, because there's no right angle, we need to create our own. So right here, come, you got two points, just like last night's homework. You come down one side, you go the other way. And count how many makes each side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay find that. All right, and then you find the length of x and z. You finish and find the length. Okay. It's the same. Actually, it's the same length, right? Should be and um, x and z is also um, 5 radical 2 because the leg are the same as the distance of WY, the distance of WY. Okay, so you can solve it. If you don't want to write all this, you solve you saw what the distance is for um, x and z. Whichever way you want to show work. Okay, very good. This here, none of them are 90 degrees. So BK, none of them are 90 degrees. Can't do that, so you pretend that these other thing lines don't exist, just like last night. You only got these two lines, and you need to make a right angle. So these two lines to make a right angle, you just drop this down, draw this this way, and here is your right angle. <coughs> two makes one, so one, two, that's two. One, two, three, four, that's four. Okay. And you solve a squared plus b squared to get k, um, bk, four squared plus two squared equals to c squared, 16 plus four equals 
c squared 20 c equals to 4 point oh this can be broken down 4 times 5 2 times 2 so this makes 1 that's 2 to the first power and this has no pair so it stays inside the c okay so the distance pk's distance is 2 radical Okay, now we need to find the other diagonal distance. That is mg right here. Okay, so we got these two points. Remember, ignore all the red, the, the black lines there. Just use the red line. So I'm gonna connect, go down sideways like this here with my 90 degree angle. And I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, four. G. GM distance. squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. 64 plus 16 equals c squared. And 80 equals to c squared, the square root. Oh, look, I can factor this out. Factors of 4, 4 and 20. 2 and 2. Oh, there's 1. 4 and 5. Oh, there's another one, 2 and 2. These don't count now. Only these left. So the 5 is left, so square root of 5, 2 squared. Okay, is equal to C. So 2 squared is 4. Equal to C. So the distance of the, is 4, 4 radical 5. Oh, I can't put that in. 4 radical 5. Anyway, 4 radical 5. Okay, now you can put in a decimal answer, second square root of 80 um, equals to 8.9 units, okay? And then I think we're good there. We're going to learn these shaded regions tomorrow, okay? But this is your homework for tonight. I've done almost all of them, or all, if not all.